Hello everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make this Ben TK building grow effect all in After Effects and a bit of Photoshop, but you can do it all in After Effects if you really want to. One thing which you'll need for this effect is a shot which was taken on a tripod. Your video clip needs to be static in order for this to work or else it just gets way too complicated so all right let's not waste any more time and let's just jump straight into this tutorial so let's get started let's create a brand new composition we're just going to call this tutorial and we're going to drag in our clip that you're going to be using so this is the clip i just found this off of a stock website we're just going to quickly rename this to original our first step is to create a clean plate we want to get rid of this whole building and just have a clean plate you can do this in after effects or you can do this in Photoshop. For today's example, I'm gonna do this quickly in Photoshop. So what I'm gonna need to do is go to Composition and Save Frame As File. I'm gonna go down here and change this from a Photoshop sequence to PNG sequence and press OK. And I'm gonna rename this to Frame. Uh, just save it to my desktop and you're gonna just press render. I'm not gonna do this because I already have this saved on my computer. One thing I forgot to mention, make sure your resolution is set to full when you're taking uh, that screenshot. So like I mentioned, you can use After Effects or Photoshop to make a clean plate. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using uh, a bit of Photoshop. So let me just do Control and Plus to zoom in. And basically you can use whatever you want, but for me, I just use the clone stamp tool. So press Alt and click anywhere to get a reference and then just paint over whatever building you have and really take some time here I'm gonna do this real quickly for you guys because it's just a tutorial but you want to just get rid of um, your building and once you're done you're gonna be left with something like this so for me, it was pretty easy because it was just a bunch of clouds in the background. Heading back over into Photoshop, we're gonna drag in our clean plate. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, copy our original clip over three times. So Control D and one, two, three. Now I'm gonna quickly rename this to uh, base. Then I'm gonna rename this to uh, middle. And then I'm gonna rename this to uh, top. Now this is depending on what kind of building you have. If we take a look at the Eiffel Tower, I can separate this into three or even four, but I'm, for this, I'm just gonna separate into three different pieces. So this is gonna be the base, this is gonna be the middle, and then this whole long piece is gonna be the top. So it's really depending on your building. So how, ma how many different layers you wanna stack up, that's how many times you're gonna have to copy the original. Now make sure whatever comes in first is at the top, then uh, whatever comes up last is at the bottom, so make sure you have it in this order that I have. And then what you're gonna have to do is go into those layers, zoom in, and what you're gonna have to do is rotoscope. For me, this is the base. I'm gonna have to rotoscope this base out with the pen tool. Take your time and make sure everything is nice and precise. All right, so now that we've made the mask, this has to be as an add mask. So if we add our clean plate and this is going to be above it, this is all that we're going to see. And now all you have to do is the same thing for the middle, rotoscope it out, and the same thing for your top. Um, you just want to make them into their own separate pieces because we're going to be moving them. And now when we take a look at our separate layers, we have the top, body, and base separate from one another. And if we take a look, if I activate the clean plate and I play through, everything is frozen. I'm going to take the original and put it on the top. And now we can see the people moving. And now we, were, we are going to have to make a quick mask. And wherever the movement stops, so for me, it's just basically the people walking here in the courtyard. So I'm just going to quickly do a mask separating these people from the still. So as we see now we have the clean plate but we also have the video which is moving uh on down here okay now i'm gonna single out just the clean plate which is now on the bottom of everything and we're gonna have to do one mask over here because we're gonna have to get uh the pieces that we have of the tower to pop up from here so we're gonna have to do a quick mask so just press g to get your pen tool and start masking 
I'm gonna want the Eiffel Tower to be coming up from around, whoops. I'm gonna want the Eiffel Tower to come up from around here, so I'm just gonna try, draw this mask around here. And then we're gonna wanna duplicate our clean plate and go to the one on the bottom and just delete the mask. Now we're gonna wanna put this clean plate with just a sky above all your pieces and make everything visible again. And I'm gonna need this clean plate to be uh, the mask settings, not add, but subtract. So now that we have everything set up, if I take the base and go to my transform settings and I go to position and I take it down, it disappears behind the mask which I made. So now we can make this pop up. So I'm gonna go to around one second. That's where I want my uh, piece to start coming in. I'm gonna turn on my position keyframes. I'm gonna go around half a second forward and just bring it in. You're gonna make sure that your ending keyframe is set to easy ease in, and now we get something like this. You can play around with the graph editor to make this a little more, a little bit more smooth. But for this tutorial, uh, it's not really necessary. So that's how it looks like. Um, so I'm gonna keep this open so I know where this one ended. I'll go to my body, open this up, and I'm gonna go half a second forward. Position keyframes on. Uh, we gotta drag this below the mask. We're gonna go half a second forward and bring it back up. All right. Uh, don't forget to change the keyframe. And now we have something like this. Boom, boom. And all that's left is to animate the top, and that's just the same thing. So at this point, you're just about done. You can play around with the graph editor to make this transition a bit more smooth. Now, as our final touch, you're just going to want to make sure that uh, motion blur is selected for your base, body, and top, and then make sure global uh, motion blur is turned on, and then we get this nice motion blur, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. Alright, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Since I'm in quarantine, I really want to post some more tutorials. So if you have any ideas on what I could talk about or what kind of tutorial I should make, comment down below. Also, uh, if you haven't, go vote on the poll in the community tab. Uh, I have some options there for you to choose from. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and healthy. Peace out.